weekend we actually got the amazing opportunity to go to Scotland Comic Con for the love of the 80s. And whilst we were there, we got the chance to interview Jack Stoffer um, from Battlestar Galactica, the original series. He actually played the character Lieutenant Boji, and I think I actually, for the first time in the last 18 attempts, got to pronounce that correctly. It's not 18, this is take 40, something <laughs> like that. I kept pronouncing it incorrectly. Um, whilst we're there though, because we were chatting to him for ages about Jaws, turns out he's as big a fan of Jaws as I am. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd never actually, basically we were chatting about Jaws for so long that I thought I better actually press record to this interview because we've been chatting for so long that we didn't get a chance to do the intro, which is why I'm doing it now. Um, so yeah, this is why I'm doing the intro now. <laughs> so um, he was lovely. He was such a nice guy, and we, it wasn't a massively long interview because we spent so long talking about Jaws. But he too was kind enough to chat to us. But anyway, this is our interview with Jack Stoffer. So the question you asked me is, was what did I think of the new show? And you know, it, it was only a result of the fact of the trailer at Battlestar Galactic, the second coming that Richard Hatch did and that I was in. And nobody at Universal wanted a sci-fi show. They considered Battlestar a failed you know, uh, TV show. So Richard took all his money and we made this thing. And we took it to conventions around the country. And over 100,000 people sent emails to Universal. And Universal went maybe we should redo it. But instead of doing what everybody wanted, they handed it to Ron Moore, who remade the original series and changed a bunch of the things around. I thought it was an insult to what the show could have been, but I think since it was enough time had gone by, there were enough people who had no idea what the original series was. So it found its own its own audience. And you had very good actors in it, Edward, almost. Katie Sackhoff is a good actress. Uh, Mary McDonald. Is, yeah, because, it, you know, you all, all have good actors in it. So, the show obviously was successful because it lasted five years and it saved the Sci Fi Channel. No, no. But um, it wasn't my cup of tea um, because I didn't really see anything new in it. But, you know, I was loyal to the, to the, to the original. But I think, you know, as, as a standalone show for a younger generation who never seen the old one, it had, it had value. Um, certainly made careers out of a bunch of people. And, uh, and that's all you want to do. You want to tell a good story. Um, and it literally kind of got space stuff back going again. I enjoyed the new series because it was quite inventive. But what I said to you earlier was, I think what sci-fi with CGI it loses a lot of the create creativity and I think what the old series had was creativity well, and that's what I really really enjoyed so you also you also the lose perfect. the humanity yeah. it becomes it becomes yeah. more about the effects than it does about the people the, the people yeah. and I'm sorry to me the people always come must come first the story the human story behind all of this and the human story behind the original Battlestar was very, very complex, and it was really too bad we couldn't have taken it forward. Now, you know, all they want to do is look at the monsters or look yeah. at the salons, and and the human element goes away, and as we depend more and more on the computers, then the actors become less and less important, and then that craft of acting becomes less and less important. And now you get poorer trained actors, which why I'm always laughing is why I'm seeing all over television now in the United States, these TV series are wonderful. You know, this person playing somebody from Oklahoma, you know, I'm just an old Loki, right? And it's a British actor. And I go, what's the matter with the American actors? Because the British actors are better. Is there any sort of episodes from the original show that stick in your mind? Well, Some mine, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, as an actor, you know, I looked at it as a, as a dramatic job. And, you know, I came in along with Annie Lockhart and Lloyd Bridges. You know, and Lloyd Bridges was a pretty good role model. And Lauren Green was a pretty good role model. And, of course, Richard Hatch and I had gone went all the way back to prehistoric times to all my children, which we started. 
so it was it was great fun for me to get back and do things with Richard again because we had we had a you know a chemistry that allowed us to work very very well together, which is too long to go into. As long as Richard was always out in front, it was fine. <laughs> but you know, I you know I, I just enjoyed every minute I was able to do what I love to do, and I still do. Sounds like you had an absolute fantastic time. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was never meant to sit behind a desk and, you know, tabulate, you know, <laughs> economics. You know, there was something in me that said, get out in front. So that's that was my my package, and that's what I, I did. Well, thank you for taking time. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Take care. Yep.